Well, hello guys, it's Raging Raptor here and I just want to give you another brief update about the upcoming individual missions in 9.5. I know yesterday I already uploaded a video about it, about the missions and how they work, but today some quite interesting infos came out about these missions and especially how they work and what they are going to be like. And first of all, most you have to think like a block. How I made this here schematic. You have a block of 40 missions and one final mission. Every of these 40 missions and this one final mission has an optional mission. I will tell you how this looks like on the stick 4 which is already known now at the moment. And yes. The, let us see. Here. These 5 blocks are all according to one of the five tank classes. Medium, a medium block, a heavy block, a TD block, a TD block, an RD block, and an... Um, what did I forget? And the scout block. And very important is for, to get one tank, one IM tank, in middle missions tank, you don't need, like it is earlier, five tickets tokens you need 20 but one block gives you four tokens when it's finished and if you ma manage to um, to complete at the moment every optional mission you get in one extra token so basically when you manage to get in heavy tanks medium tanks light tank and tank destroyer every optional mission and every final every missions you get 20 ticks and you don't need to play the artillery block at all. So yeah, this would be good I think. But I will show it to you again in a little presentation. As you can see here again I made these 5 blocks, heavy tank, medium tank, light tank, tank destroyer and SPG. And for, uh, for one um, individual mission tank you need 20 tokens. Then you get first the Stuk 4, then it goes all over again, then you get a T28 concept, a T55A, and at the end the Object 260. Then, as I said, you need 40 missions, plus this um, optional missions, then you get the final mission plus the secondary, and then you get 4 plus 1 token. So basically, at the end you can get 25 tokens, but yeah, you, you get that, you don't need that at all. You only need 20 tokens, so for my opinion, I will stay on the heavy, medium, light and tank destroyer branch because for all these branches I have at least one tank which I can play good. And yes, light tank it's the ELC because it's a great tank. But yeah, I think you guys want to know how these missions now look like. So I will show you or give you some information. Well, for the Stuck there is there are already some information how this will see. For for example, the first mission of the light tank branch is to be in the top ten in experience. Then you get the reward 50k credits. 50,000, nice. But if you manage to survive as well, you get 25,000. For me and my ESC, easy. Definitely easy. Because normally I'm top three. So yeah, then you have already have the first mission of these 50 missions accomplished with the additional, with the optional mission. Second mission is, for example, for the heavy tri heavy tank block is destroy one enemy tank, then you get 50k credits. But if you manage to do more than 1,000 damage, you get extra 25 credits. So yeah, you see in the stock four, it is quite easy to get there. No problem for even not so good player, even for no normal or average player, e very easy for good players. But step it up to the maximum, the object 260. There are also some missions known about and it is very important. Every mission which I will tell you now, at the moment, you have to accomplish this mission in one battle. So one mission in the light tank tree, light tank block is a deal 8,000 spotting damage. And the optional or the secondary is get 5 spotting damage. You think, yes, yeah, 5, 8,000 damage, say what? 
Yes, I know it's super test, but at the moment this is a high, a really high target. You can only do this in high. You need to get into your 8 scout and be on Malinovka, for example, or Murovanka. There you can get these amounts of spotting damage, and you have to be had a retard enemy team which won't spot you, and a good team which will get this intel right and will shoot like hell. It is possible, but it will be really hard. Then, the heavy trank block. Accumulate 20,000 damage. Either deal yourself or block by your armor. They add up. And the second survive and win. Um, yes, 20,000 damage, which means you need probably to make 6,000 damage by your own. And then you need to do 14,000 damage blocked by your armor. So basically if you don't have an IS-4, an IS-7, E-100 or a mouse, you're probably fucked. Yes. And for me, I know how to deal damage, but if you're a good player and any, most of the enemies also play with XVM and w and aid rating, you see and they will probably gold you out of the fucking battle. So this mission will be quite hard because at the moment, at this point where the game is at the moment, armor doesn't really mean much. Because everyone can spam gold and they are willing to do. The medium tank block mission is destroy free plus enemy TDs that are at least one tier higher than you. And secondary survive and win and deal 3k damage. Well, this is not that hard, for example, when you have a panther you can easily kill three enemy TDs like an um, but you won't of course get the 3k damage, but for example um, Rhyme Metals and Jack Panther 2, no problem, or with the when you, then you already have the T55A, you can easily gold out the enemies, Jack Panthers, Waffle Traggers, or something like this. It is, this is possible, this is a really possible mission. Then we go to the TD mission. Deal 10,000 plus damage. The secondary destroy 5 plus enemy tanks. Yeah, 10,000 damage. I am a good player. And I love the Jack Panzer E100. But to get 10,000 damage, I need roughly... I, I need, first of all, at least 10 shots. Or some blow-ups. But yeah, I won't trust them. And then I need, I have at least for 10,000 damage and Jack Panzer even 100, where every shot penetrates, every shot shoots, instant if you reload it, if instant after you reload you can shoot, and your um, kills are all over about 1,000 damage, you need at least 3.5 minutes just for the reload, for this 10,000 damage. And probably you will get killed early or... Yeah, it's really hard. 10,000 damage, I didn't manage it by myself. I think the maximum damage I managed in the TD was 8,000. And yeah, I would say this was kind of high. And the art one of the artillery me missions is be in the first place in XP and damage dealt. And secondary is survive. Well, I think it isn't... For a good RD player, it's easy, of course. But for a not such a good arty player or even a guy which hates arty, this is not so good. Yeah, and two of the individual missions also but there's something interesting. When you manage to get one of those blocks finished, you get a female crew member. Whenever you receive one token for completing 50 missions, you need four tokens for every tank out of five. Yes, uh, sorry, you need... You, I mean, when you get for every... Every time you get just four or five tokens, you get one female crew member. Along along with enough free um, free XP, crew XP for one perk. But, yeah. My opinion, for low tiers, it, um, for lower tiers, Stuck, it is easy to get them. And even they give you some, how should I say, liberty. You you don't need to do the um, the f French missions, no, the artillery missions. But I don't really know if if you, f for example, fuck up one optional mission, if the whole 
block is blocked for the rest. So basically, on mission 10, you fuck up and you go don't get the optional mission. And then it isn't. Then I don't know if it doesn't matter because you have at least more than a half of the individual and optional missions and then you get the, the the plus token, the plus one token or then it's impossible to get them, it will be just block, I don't know. I hope it will be like I said in the first thing that you have at least to have two third or half of the optional missions to get the, the, the um, plus token and yes this is the first thing and the second thing the missions for okay it's a tier 10 tank of course which you can get for free but these missions are really heavy as i said i'm a good 2300 play um play um battles player which is a blue tomato and i really have to say these missions are freaking hard of course it's super test they will probably change things if they see this will be mostly impossible if you don't have enough luck so, yes, this is one thing which really annoys me also about the game, the luck. For these missions, you need instant snipers, which need to be lucky in hitting for the light tanks. For the heavy tank, you need luck that the enemy team won't gold you out of the fucking battle. For the medium tank, you need to have the perfect timing. You need perfect team matchup. You need the perfect retards in the enemy team. I think... These missions, the, um, the high level missions, only with luck managed to do. But yeah, these are my thoughts, these are some informations about the new mechanics, which is at the moment like this. And yeah guys, if you liked the video, if you want to get more information, more intel, subscribe. As I said, if you liked, make a thumbs up button and for any questions or any ideas, make a comment. And I had her, and again, see you on the battlefield.